Hello everyone. Welcome to my class, System Programming Lab. Today, I'm going to talk about System Call, C Library, and C Compiler. Do you remember this picture? As you can see, this is a big picture showing how can I develop system level software. Let's see the building blocks in this picture. What kind of blocks can you see in this picture? You can see the blocks of application, GNUC library, system core interface, and core several modules in the central, and so on. Can you guess how many subroutines are there? The answer is about 2,000 subroutines in GNEC library. Right? Okay. Can you guess how many system calls are there? The answer is about 380 system calls in system call interface. That's right. Can you guess what is in the central within the system call interface? The answer is kernel that is core part Linux operating systems. Let's see the core kernel. The kernel has several blocks. Linux memory manager, IPC manager, Linux process scheduler, virtual file system, IO interface, network interface, and so on. As you know, they are all connected and communicated with each other. For example, virtual file system is communicated with Linux memory manager, Linux process scheduler, and I.O. interface. Can you guess what is missing one in my description? That is virtual file system is also communicated with system core interface. Is it possible that the application in the outside is able to access to the kernel directly? No, it isn't. No, it isn't. How can the applications access to the core kernel? The answer is the application can access to the core kernel through the system core. That is to say, by using the system core interface. This is another big picture of the inside Linux kernel. There are various functions in this core kernel. That is to say, the kernel performs so many tasks. For example, process scheduling, memory management, provision of a file system, creation and termination of processes, access to devices and networking, and so on. But you cannot access to the kernel directly because of security reasons. This is a picture showing the structure of virtual memory space. When the system boot, the kernel is loaded into the kernel memory space. If you learn a program, the program is loaded into the user memory space. The program loaded in the memory becomes the process. Linux system can have multi processes like this picture. The processor point of view, sometimes the process can be run in user space, or sometimes the process can be run in the kernel space. What is system calls? System calls are function invocations made from user space into a kernel to request some services or resources from the operating system. For example, read function, write function, get thread area, and so on. Do you remember how many system calls are there in the Linux system? About 380 system calls. How can I invoke system calls? A user space application can signal the kernel to invoke a system call. 
and then the application can trap into the kernel through the well-defined mechanism and execute only code that kernel allows. The exact mechanism varies from architecture to architecture, operating system to operating system. Let's see my code in this picture. My code has a main function included add function, sub function, and printf function. At this point, printf function is one of the system calls in the system call interface. Printf function calls write function and then write function calls sys call function in the kernel space and then system call function calls system write function something like that. System call interface as you can see is provided by the C library. As you can see, this picture shows the system call invocation process in detail. Printf function calls write wrapper function in the C library. As you can see, write wrapper function is made by the assembly code. The assembly code means the wrapper function copies the system call number into a specific CPU register, for example, percent %EAX. The wrapper function executes a trap machine instruction, for example, interrupt 64, which calls the processor to switch from user mode to kernel mode and execute code pointed to by location 64. At this point, the kernel invokes each system call routine to handle the trap. The full process of system call invocation is really difficult to understand at this point. However, as a system programmer, you usually do not need to know about how the kernel handles system call invocation. You just call a proper function in the C library. You just call a proper function in this C library. C library, library C, is for the Unix application. On modern Linux system, C library is provided by GNU library C. Grip C, Grip C. Grip C provide wrappers for system calls, threading support, and basic application facilities. If you want to invoke system calls, you just call a system call in the gripc gnu c library. C compiler. In Linux, the standard C compiler is provided by gnu compiler collection, in short, gcc. GCC. Originally, gcc was gnu's version of cc. The CC means C compiler. Nowadays, GCC is used as the generic name for the family of GNU compilers. GCC is the binary used to invoke the C compiler. Okay, today we learn the system call, C library, and C compiler. Thank you.